Hello guys, and welcome back to another battle video on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. This time, I'll be using a different deck, Big Basics, because this deck pretty much dominated states and regionals. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if I took this deck out for a spin. So I start off with a Groudon and a Buffon on the bench, and looks like I get to go first. And my opponent flips over a Rayquaza. So this could be some kind of electric deck. If it is, that'll be good because m the majority of the Pokemon in my deck are fighting. I have Landris, I have Groudon, and even Mewtwo can dunk Dynamos. So everything's helpful. So uh, yeah, I play a town map, revealing my Gold Potions prize and two DCE. Not really sure if that will hurt me, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out. And my new hand's not not that great. I all I can do is pretty much just attach the EXP share and pass. And my opponent benches two more Rayquaza, one Rayquaza EX and one regular Rayquaza, and Celestial Roars, discarding three lightning. And now automatically I know it's quad quaza. The deck where you run four Rayquaza EX, some of them might include the regular Rayquaza. And you pretty much just Celestial Roar, and the next turn you Dragon Burst. Knock out any EX, pretty much. The thing is, this deck is... This deck has maximum early pressure, but late game it doesn't really do so well. So yeah, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna see how this goes. I do have to think extra careful against decks like these. So, instead of attaching to the Groudon, because it's probably just gonna be knocked out the next turn, I'm going to attach it to the Buffon, because I do have the EXP share attached to it. But looks like my opponent discards the Fire and does 60. Maybe that was a misplay? I mean, not a misplay, a misclick? Maybe? Because I don't see why not just go for discard all the, discard all the Lightning. So yeah, that gives me another turn to attach. And my hand is horrible. And I guess my opponent finally does not misplay. Oh, why do I keep saying misplay? Misclick. Sorry about that. And would you just look at all the damage on that Groudon? So with the XP share, I'm just gonna bring. I'm going to bring one fighting to the Buffon. And there's no guarantee that I might get the energy next turn, so I'm just gonna send up um, Landorus. And we are going to wait for my opponent to take the prize cards. And I draw an escape rope. Um, not really helpful whatsoever. So I'm just going to have to hammerhead 30 and probably do 30 to the other Rayquaza. And yep, well, it looks like that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I really need a supporter card soon. Um, let's see. My opponent attaches another lightning to the Rayquaza. The good thing about having the escape rope in my hand is next turn, which this turn, I can just escape rope, spare, buy some more time, because then my opponent will have to go into a Rayquaza that has no energy attached to it. And then he'll have to Celestial Roar again. Or maybe just attach and, and retreat. So I'm going to bring up the Buffalo, and my opponent's going to bring up the other Rayquaza. Just in case my opponent can retreat the Rayquaza, I won't lose that big of a Pokemon. Landorses are big EXs. They give you two prizes. One of the Buffalo has two energies already attached to it. Don't want to give that away. Well, don't want to get that knocked out. And, ooh. Yay, I top deck Professor Juniper. Best timing ever. Got myself seven new cards. And let's see, what can I do? I'm already down three prizes. I need to start taking prizes ASAP. But, um, yeah. I don't know what I can do right now. I can hit for 30 30 again using Hammerhead. But the cool thing is, if I hit for 30-30, hit both the Equaza EXs, which will bring both of them up to 60 hit points. Well, 60 damage. And then Goldbreaker will just do enough to knock them out. 
So, I think I recognized that when I was playing this. I'm not sure because I'm post-narrating. But at least I'm making the right choice. Hitting for 30-30. And then, next turn, if I can get a switch or something, I can get into Buffalon and... Yeah, Gold Breaker. So, or... Another option is to land judgment. If I cannot, if I don't manage to get into the Buffon, I can land judgment because the Rayquaza only has. Wait, let me see. Yeah, it only has one ten remaining. So I could attach the DCE, and when I do the big land judgment, I can save one energy card, so I don't don't have to discard three fighting. Just discard two. And. Yeah, I think that might be the best play because I can't get into Buflon right now. I would need a switch and another energy card. And I really don't want to Juniper away all that. Well, I could end, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I've already attached anyway, so it wouldn't really make a difference. But I do get, a, I do get the switch, so either play would have worked. Just, I guess the best, th the best play would be to go into Buflon so I don't have to waste all those energy. But but there might not be there might be no guarantee there's no guarantee that I might hit the switch, so the lander is, is a safer route. But you have to discard the energy. The blue font is the risky route, but you don't have to discard any energy, and I end up going for the safe route. So I'm going to land judgment, the big land judgment, deal 150, and take two prizes. Now what should I take? Maybe go for the go potion and the double cost energy. Because then I can power up my Bufalons faster. Because my opponent's going to be relying on Rayquaza EX. And Goldbreaker is really going to be helpful. So I'm going to grab a the Gold Potion and a Double Colors Energy. And slowly, we're getting back on track here. It looks like my opponent is just going to Dragon Pulse for 40. I believe that's the attack. Dragon, Dragon Pulse. I was almost going to say Dragon Burst. And I'm going to play a random receiver for a Colress. Not bad, I guess. Five cards. Now, where do I want to attach the energy? Hmm. Take a look at my opponent's discard. Um, let's see. Hmm. Maybe I can Ultra Ball for a Mewtwo? Maybe. Oh, what I can do is, yeah, I, I have not thought about that. I could attach the DCE, switch to Buffon, catch up the other Rayquaza EX, and now we're down to two prizes, and we're actually going to be ahead. Wow. So I'm going to Colrus for 5, and Goldbreaker for 120 for the knockout. Let's see, what am I going to get? Looks like I'm going to get the switch. And the double colorless energy. Just in case I need to get the other Buflon powered up. And it's just going to Dragon Pulse for 40. And he concedes the game. So I guess he realized that he couldn't win it. I don't think he can even get another Rayquaza EX setup. So yeah, he just concedes. And we take a victory with pretty much the number one deck for states and regionals. Big Basics. Still proves that ba Big Basic still got it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.